Well, today, November 19th, is officially Women's Entrepreneurship Day, and the hashtag Choose Women is a part of a platform to help promote and empower women owned businesses across the world, and I love it. With us is Kayla Kraft, a mom of three. She's a self made millionaire, a lifestyle entrepreneur. She's here from Orange County. Uh, Kayla went from saving lives in the ER as a nurse mm -hmm. to helping to pursue their passion of owning their own. Business. Welcome. Okay. So, so let's just start off. Yeah, tell us a little tell us bit your about, story. about you. Okay, so I grew up actually in Bakersfield and I grew up in a single with a single mom and my dad was in jail. And so that kind of made me be very driven at a very young age to not financially struggle. So I chose to become an ER nurse because I was like, you know, that's all, I'm always going to have a job. So I decided to be a nurse. And then, oh, there I am. <laughs> With your mom and your yes. kids. And I got into nursing. And then I started to have kids. And I was like, this is not going to work out for me. Like, I can't have somebody else telling me what to do all the time. Mm -hmm. But I loved helping people. So I started to get into network marketing and built my own business. I now have a team of over 70,000 people all over the world. Wow. That sell health and wellness supplements with me. And so that kind of got me into just like, being obsessed with helping people lead themselves and really design their life. Okay, so let's just take a step back. <laughs> Someone's watching this, they have a job. Yeah. They are not satisfied in their job. They want to make more money. They, they want bigger aspirations. Were you scared to make that leap and how did you do it financially? Like starting a business and did you work at the same time? Yes. Give us the step by steps on yeah. how you did that. I, um, I totally did it like for two and a half years while still working as an ER nurse because I was so scared to give up. We all are like kind of trained at a very young age to have an employee mindset. So, you know, we don't have the self discipline for ourselves but we show it for other people mm -hmm. and so it, it was all about learning that self-discipline so like I started with a morning routine and just like really believing in myself talking like nicely to myself and saying that I was worthy of more money and all of those things that people don't talk about in school you mm -hmm. know so I just started to do that and then it took off from there we were just looking at uh, your book you've got yeah. a book you've got yeah. a podcast Ta tell us about that yeah so the book comes out actually next week and it's called the habit of leading yourself it's a one-year guide to becoming on unstoppable and I'm just all about like if you can lead yourself every single day and be super disciplined you can lead so many people around the world because leadership is just influence so let's start from the beginning here give people <laughs> you're a millionaire people want a piece of this pie and how you did it from becoming a nurse to a millionaire yeah give people some tangible tips okay. on what they can do today if they're thinking of starting a business or doing something different and want to get out of the mold. Well, first of all, this, these tips are for anybody. So even if you're an employee and you love your job, you can always become a better version of yourself. And so I think if you start with a morning routine, that is everything. So what I does wake that up, mean, a morning routine? So yeah, so I wake up at 5 a.m. every day. I get up, I visualize how I want my day to go. I visualize my life five years from today. I imagine how much money I want in the bank. How does that make me feel? You know, so if you want to make 10 million how does that feel how do I walk around when I'm making 10 million dollars a year you know and I know that sounds like a big number but you need to think big because so many people think small right and what you watch Fox 11 morning news at yeah. 5 a.m. right yeah. Tony yeah. and Roxy that's how the day, day starts right yeah. Yeah. so you visualize that's the first tip what's your visualize, second tip I always do a gratitude journal so I write at least 10 things I'm grateful for I do this with my kids when they wake up as well and then I what else do I do I always do a cold shower wake you up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that sounds aggressive. Uh, and then I, I like to do a brain dump. And I know that sounds funny, but you just get everything that's in your mind out on paper so you have massive clarity for your day. And so you know exactly what I need to do. And so many people, we get overwhelmed with the how to. How am I going to make a million dollars? How am I going to do all this stuff? When you just need to focus on what is the one thing I can do next. And so I eat the frog first thing in the morning. What is the hardest thing I need to do today for my business, which is usually sales calls. So you say, lead yourself, you lead many. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how you do anything is how you do everything. Oh, this one's so good. How you do anything is how you do everything. Mm -hmm. So it's like it all goes with just how you treat some, like the janitor here. Mm -hmm. How do you treat um, the waitress? You know, and that's how you're going to treat your customers. You go above and beyond to everybody around you. You treat them with massive kindness and love. Um, and I just feel like if you have follow through in one area, so if you say you're going to do something with your husband and you do it, then you'll do it in your business. And you say environment is everything. Why oh. is environment? Meaning okay. where you work or who yes. you surround yourself with? Yeah, if you're not blooming where you are right now, change your environment. So that might be the people that you hang out with. If you hang out with five people that are broke, unhappy, you're going to be broken, unhappy. That just is the way it is. What is a mastermind? Oh, a mastermind. Okay, so this is what I'm doing now. It's so fun. So you get in a room of people that are like you, ambitious, ready to change the world, and it's kind of like brain power in the room. So if you imagine one battery source 
setting up a toy, but mm -hmm. if you have like 10 batteries behind it, the battery power is like, oh, we can like do big things. <laughs> and that's what a mastermind is. You come together and you all work on each other's businesses for a year. You know, the, a lot of times people say you need to have money to make money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did you get the capital? You're, you're an ER nurse. You've got these, these kids. How did you start? Started. Where did the first yeah. money come from? So I got started in network marketing because it's a very low startup cost and you have great rewards from it. So I got started for only $190 to start my business. How? Explain that. Yeah, because you so, so you just use the products and then you share the products with people all over the world. And I did it via social media. So, and so it's that's a, what got me started. Easy platform on that one. Yes. Not a lot of capital you needed to start your business. Right. Wow. And there's always a way. People don't realize how resourceful we are. I've seen people start to sell their fridges, sell their couches, like do whatever they need to do to start their business. Wow. Well, and how long did it take you? Uh, to make my first million, it took me three years. And how old are you? 31. Wow. Oh, all right. Well, all that right. does it for us, but here's the thing. High five. <laughs> I'm all for female empowerment <laughs> and Everybody can do it. I, yeah. God. Kayla, come on over. Let's yeah. let's have let's morning shower and visualize and write in our journals. Congratulations We're all do on the it. book. Congratulations <laughs> on the you. podcast. Great to have you here, and uh, it's inspiring. And hopefully, other people will be inspired from what you said Thank as well. Yeah, exactly.